I think today's a very disappointing day. I mean, this should have been our Independence Day, the day we became an independent nation. It's what we voted for, we were promised it, uh, and I think people have got every right to feel betrayed by politicians in Parliament and, indeed, our government for not taking a very clear, decisive course. You made the point about the daffodil farmers. Actually, what all businesses want is certainty. What the country now wants, overwhelmingly, is just to get on with it and to deliver it, and, and that's why you've seen, you know, now the idea that we leave with no deal is by far the most popular deal. It's not a deal. It's a new international legally binding treaty which we cannot, as a sovereign nation, get out of. It's a mistake. So it's far better, it's far better to get rid of it. And, we, and that gives us then two options. Either we leave now on the 12th of April on a WTO exit, which is what the country now wants. It is by far the most popular option. But I'd rather, to be honest with you, I'd rather have an extension to us leaving than have this treaty. It's a surrender document. It's a huge mistake. You... We are being asked to pay a divorce bill of over £50 billion and we're not getting any certainty as to what the future trading relationship will be in return. And that's obviously a big problem. And to the extent there's any kind of framework put in place for that future trading relationship, it doesn't cover most of the British economy, which is services. So that's my big problem with that. But essentially, you know, the reason that we're in this mess, I mean, it's something for um, Nigel to talk about betrayal, is that the architects of this chaos, the ones who campaigned for us to leave the European Union in the first place, we in Parliament have been trying to square the fanta you know, fantasy, mythical promises that they were making mm -hmm. about what voting to leave would mean for the UK, and it's proved impossible to deliver. Nadine was talking about nurses and doctors. I mean, who will forget that big red bus that was saying we're going to have these billions mm. of pounds going to the NHS? And in terms of billions nurses of and doctors, if you, look at, well, if you look at what's happened um, in the NHS with nurses and doctors, we've had EU citizens who are nurses and doctors who help power our NHS leaving in droves. Mm. Now, that is the, you know, these are the kind of real challenges. If you look at the big problems we've got in this country, in my, in my constituency, we've got too many young people stabbing and killing each other. We have some of the most extreme social problems in the country. This vote so far has done absolutely nothing. No, of course nothing. it hasn't. So let's but let's get let's get it on with each other will not give time. With. Let's leave, and then we can get on with those things. Very easy. What we promised on our side of the argument, what we promised was independence. We wanted to become an independent state, not having our laws made in Brussels, having our own courts, controlling our own borders. That is not hard to deliver. I really do not think there is majority support in, in the, the country. country. Yes, there is. No, there is not. The and if you there. actually, even Nadine, who is one of your fellow Brexiters, is shaking her head at that. Because she things. knows the reality of the situation. I, I am a, you I'm an MP are and looking lead strongly. This is an extremist position, which is not reflected in the country. 15% lead now for leaving on no deal as opposed to extension. That's where the figures are. There's a massive... Please don't underestimate the shift that is going on out there in this country. You shouldn't people underestimate the Guy, let me just ask a question, because what people have, uh, have seen a lot of is people passionately arguing their own case. What we need to do is to find a way through, don't we? Nigel, you're never going to support this agreement. No. Are you happy to sacrifice Brexit by not supporting it? Would you be preferred to I live with we that? I think if we were to sign up to this new European treaty, it would lead to years of acrimony. Mm. And I think far better to get rid of this Prime Minister, I certainly agree with that, press the reset button, start again, and let's do this differently. Let's say to the European Union, we are leaving in a year's time. Mm. We will leave on WTO rules. If you want to have a sensible trade deal with us, we'll talk to you. Let's take the upper hand in these negotiations. All we're hearing from people this morning is we have been betrayed by MPs. We've been betrayed by the lack of ability to find an agreement. Now, it's clearly furiously complicated. People have passionate views. But at what point do they get put aside? Well, can I just say that, Chucka, your desire for no Brexit, I think, will be reached if this, this deal doesn't go through today. There mm. will never be, we'll never leave the European Union, because with every day and week and month that passes, the legitimacy of that 16 vote mm. fades. And, I don't think and we'll the, be forced the, out with no deal, though, Nadine. Do you think that that no, won't happen? No, that will never, ever, ever, well, the ever happen. But the French have said Nigel they could. Nigel is might. living... They might. The French have said a number of things mm -hmm. that they've reversed on. I think, Nigel, that is just a fantasy. I, I have never underestimated our ability to survive as a sovereign nation if we left on WTO rules. I do not think it would be Armageddon. I think we would survive and it would be, it would be great. However, n we have a Remain Parliament, a Remain Speaker, a Remain Civil Service. It is never going to be allowed to pass. And I have come to that conclusion two weeks ago myself that to, to harbour this dream of WTO Brexit 
is a fantasy. And what it is there doing is, is only leading to no Brexit there, whatsoever. There feels, and as Kate it's was playing saying... playing into Chucker's hands, actually. But the, 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 the majority of response that we get from our viewers is frustration and anger and defeat. And the, the great irony of this, of course, is you were trying to bring back the, what we were sold, bringing back power, bringing back control to Great Britain. Problem, and yet, the people that we've put in charge of that haven't been but, able to organise that way do out. Do you know why, though? The, the, problem, the, the problem with this process has been that you have, as Nadine said, you know, with every week or month that passes, the 2016 vote, you know, loses, I think, legitimacy or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that is clashing with a general election result where, essentially, Theresa May mm -hmm. put a hard Brexit... You know what, Chucker, that's your Jesus. problem. That's your problem as MPs. But if you're a hairdresser, it's a problem no, 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 when you have but, too many but, haircuts but, but, Kate, to make. Sort it out yeah, for easy, us that, is what that, that people is, think. That is easy Kate, to I say. To... And, the, and the easy thing to say is, oh, yes, it's easily sortable, but the problem no is... No one's saying it's easily sortable. People are saying it's, it's Parliament's but job Kate, to sort yes, it. I, I, I don't disagree with that, mm. but what I'm saying is Parliament is trying to square the circle. It's trying to square the circle of the 2016 result and a 2017 general election. And both of those came from the people. That's been the challenge. Now, the way to solve it, actually, is the, is the indicative vote process Keep that we've promises. got at the moment. Because everybody has to compromise. Mm. You have to accept that you're going to have a situation you know where you vote yesterday? on things. But Lydia, you, you, said, you, you said a week ago that everybody would vote for this deal if Theresa May said she would go. She well, said she would go, and in, there's in still the, the doubt. The majority of people in the Conservative party bill. But, but you know is it enough to I win? Is it enough to win? I it'll be a knife edge. For her to Can I just tell, I'll tell you why it'll be a knife edge. Yesterday, what happened in um, the House of Commons was utterly appalling. The shadow leader of the House, your former party, stood at the dispatch box and complained oh. that they had only just seen the motion that is being put before the House today. Mm. It was quite a, quite a detailed motion. And in the same breath then said, and the Labour Party will not be supporting this, without scrutinising it, reading it, analysing or taking any consideration of what is being put before the House today, the Labour Party decided, before they'd even seen it, that they will not be so voting. So then it becomes about party they politics are, rather than what's best for The marriage. Labour Party is, has one object, one ob absolutely one objective, and that is to cause as much chaos and disruption as possible because what they want is not Brexit, what they want is a general election, and they are paying party politics with the votes of 17.4 million people who voted to leave in 2016. Nigel, you have a new party, the Brexit party. Yeah, I'm afraid uh, so. And I, I mean, I, we I, were I, expecting... I, I think you came in today and you sat down and you said this is supposed to be your retirement. Yes, yes, You're supposed yes to be I new. was hoping to be packed up with politics But does today? this not help your cause just in terms of... If we, we carry on, then there's more mm. European elections going to be mm. taking on. Undoubtedly, you and your party will strategize that, and you could clean up in terms of votes. And then suddenly, your party becomes even more powerful in the voice of politics well, over here. I hope that uh, I hope the threat of the Brexit party fighting those European elections on May the 23rd is enough for our MPs in Westminster to come to their senses and realise they have made a series of promises to the British people. We were promised the referendum would be implemented. Both the Labour and Conservative parties promised they would take us out. You made promises we've in the process. We've been very, very bad. bad. Yeah, you can't we've be been very, very, to be very, uh, very, very, very bad. Promises yeah. too, Nigel, didn't you? I and made, do you know what? I've not made one promise in the... I've not tried to keep. Not one. Right. I want us to be an independent country. Right. This, our voters want it. And what is happening today is an act of betrayal by our political class. So... If I have to fight them again, I will. Uh, what do you think will happen today? Do you feel that they would lose? We should point out, by the way, we did ask a member of Labour Party to come on, but they haven't done so this morning, just it's before appalling. it becomes all they of you not, against all of them. They've done no well, media on this since the motion came out, and they know the reason why is because they are playing party politics with this. It is utterly appalling okay. that the country is being But you're not playing party politics if I talk about it. So Theresa May can't <laughs> get it through... Uh, and without them here to defend themselves. So Theresa May looks like she can't get it through. What will happen tomorrow? Well, that is the big question. So if this fails, what next? Well, I, I tell you what I absolutely think. Well, I don't Either know. Way she's going, I don't yeah. know. Can you see her so stepping down quicker? Her statement was that if the deal gets through, she will stand down. If the deal doesn't get through, that's well, a whole different ballgame. Well, what exactly, help, Chucker, what... I would say exactly the same thing. Sure, but from, I your, don't know. from your perspective, from the independent groups, from your colleagues there, what would help? Would it help if she were to go and somebody else was put into place? Well, Chucker wants a general election as well, don't you, but Chucker? I, I don't think the problem here is a kind of personality thing. The problem is a government, Leadership. you know. Well, actually, and you know, you've got these two established parties in this country which are thoroughly broken, lacking in leadership, incompetent, incredibly divided. I mean, the whole system needs to be cracked open. I'd agree with that. In my view. I'd agree with and, that. And, you know, look, I, I certainly <laughs> welcome, you know, if we, we're looking at having European elections, bring it on, mm. is what I say. Um, but 
I think in the end she's going to have to go either way. Mm -hmm. And if the withdrawal agreement doesn't go through today, then we're probably looking at a long extension. I think the Dean's judgment about the European Union not wanting to have a no-deal situ situation, I think you may have inferred mm. that earlier, is, is right. And so when you that, say extension, how long then, took how long are we going to be? Well, years, personally, and we will never Well, leave. I would like to have one that would allow us to have a people's vote. I think Nadine, I think increasingly the people in Nadine's part of the Conservative Party would like a long extension so that they can get their hard Brexiter in, you know, maybe oh, Boris no, no, or... no, 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 and then, Chuck, and, Chuck, But you want someone you else to not? negotiate, don't you? Can I tell you why not? Because with this long extension, <laughs> Chucker, we will become even more enmeshed within the European Union architecture, the framework. But your game is... We will become more enmeshed, more deep, but it'll become so you... difficult for us to leave. The longer we're there, the more difficult but it you becomes. Want a lot of the ER... Well, okay. well, actually, that a lot reason. of the ERG are telling me, actually, we'll go for a longer extension, the long extensions can substitute transition, and if your guy, maybe it's Dominic Raab, Michael Gove or whatever, doesn't get a deal, they'll just take us out with no deal. I think that's the plan of the right of the Conservative Party. And that's why, in the end, they moan about a long extension, but they'll roll with it, because that's what they want. You want a different negotiating team. Nadine Smiley. When, you, I think, I've when do you it. think we'll... I, I want it. quick answer for all of you. When do you think we'll leave, if ever? If we don't sign this deal today, if we don't vote for this deal today, if MPs don't get behind it and the Labour Party are not, if we don't get behind it, it'll be a knife-edge vote later on today. And if we don't win this vote, I think the prospect of us leaving the European Union becomes far more remote than Chaka? it was before. I think this will go back to the people in the end, and I think they will vote to keep the current deal we have because it's far superior than anything else. Uh, Nigel? Nigel? I think if it does go back to the people, and I hope it doesn't, because it would be a terrible you know, breach of trust, but if it does go back to the people, I think you'd see a resounding vote to leave next time round. I think, we'll be, I think within two years we will be out of this, I'm absolutely certain.